What's going on guys and welcome to what has to be the most impressive satisfactory save I have ever ever seen. So this save was made by Stinochi, a fellow YouTuber. I will put his links in the description. Uh, he very kindly sent his save over for me to have a look at and oh my god am I mind blown. I'm not gonna lie when I said it's the best save and detailed save I have ever seen in satisfactory. It's honestly mind-blowing so the first building i actually want to look at here is this one and this is called the eden project and this is mind-blowing to me because he's used the terrain with the building uh, and kind of incorporated uh incorporated we can see the nuclear pasta that's on a conveyor belt here just kind of spinning around We've got a waterfall coming through even made a hole in the ceiling for it to come through uh we can see the vehicles going up and down here and he does a lot of work with signs, I've noticed, which are pretty impressive. I don't know if he's using micromanage mod. I've not spoke with Stin regarding anything. I'm literally going in uh, this as a, as if you was to get it. Uh, all the thing me and Stin have talked about is, you know, the possible save to for me to cover it uh, and all that stuff. So, Eden Bank, enter. It's an ATM machine. Like, it's the small little details that make the world much more impressive. We can see the geothermal generator here literally incorporating and i've noticed as well when i was doing the montage there you can just see him <laughs> the, the little fix it card is going around i've seen a couple of them I've seen, I've seen a yellow and a green there's the yellow one across there or the orange one whatever color it is um and the one thing i i love about this is how i i it wouldn't surprise me if there's no trees been removed and we can kind of see how like the floor is integrated with the the building here and we've got rooms to go inside and literally light control panel i don't want to touch any of these um but like the signs and the logo and it's super super impressive so we can go up here and just have a look around like everything starts getting tight and compact and even machines are all clean and tidy you know and this is why it blows my mind because i've seen some crazy builds in this I do crazy builds myself, but I don't go into this much detail with design. Um, and that's why I wanted to show you guys, because you guys think I'm a decent builder. I don't think I am. This is a decent builder. Um, so like I said, please go and subscribe to his YouTube channel, because uh, if you want to see more like this, he's got a whole series on this and how he did a lot of stuff. Uh, more ATMs. or oh, Atom. Atom this time. What are you doing? Having a little dance. Uh, I do want to cover a lot of this stuff, but like I said, there is a lot of stuff in this build. Uh, there's so much stuff going on. I don't even... If I entered... Whoa. Holy crap. Eden Core. I'm guessing this is a power station. Oh, no. He's making crystal oscillators here. Radio control units, supercomputers, computers, high-speed connectors. I don't know if these are going to certain buildings and this is a power plant. Um, but all I'm seeing is the geothermal everywhere. We know there's one geothermal plant here. Authorized personnel already. I've been given a pass. He did send me an access code to access this area. Um, so I am going to have a look around because he manufactures in here. And we can see that package... Is that package fuel? Package fuel, batteries, multiple items being made here. And oh my boy, is that a network. Oh boy. So down here, we've got max height. We can see the vehicle's tech district. Okay, let's have a look up here. This is what I mean. Like, look at this. The use of contrasting foundations with the signs. And then here as well, making these dark and it, you know, just the light reflecting. Like, I have got my light lighting set to, like, early morning. Because this save pops at sunset and sunrise. Just because of the signs and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it just looks a lot, lot better. Um, circuit boards. So we have another handprint scanner in here. I'm lacking just the use of shops just to fill in areas as well. This is pretty cool. Research and design. Like, what is... Is that a... Like... I... I just look... Like, look at these signs. Just they're so clean. Like, that's one sign as well. Label sign. You know? I don't want to break it down because I don't want to spoil his secrets on this channel. If you want to check any of the stuff that he's built, please go to his channel and look how he did it. I don't want to break anything down. Um, he has got this save available on his channel, I believe, 
under his recent satisfactory video, his world tour. He has just done a world tour. Uh, hence the reason he sent this over. Um, and you can go and download it from his save. I tell you now, I've got an extremely powerful PC. I've got a 4090 with a 7950X Ryzen 9. And I'm in 4K because I'm recording this as best quality as I can because it deserves the, as much quality as it can. I'm getting 25 FPS. 25 FPS through this. And uh, it's a big boy save. Like I said, oh my God. You know, two and a half thousand hours. We'll just go through a cave here. I feel like we're in an alien site. Does, does that make sense? It's like we're at a mining facility. It would have been great if there was like drills in here and like um, beacons and like lights just to kind of create like a pit like they're, they're mining something out. That'd be kind of insane. I love a story to a save. I love story saves. And I've seen a couple of them. I've just never covered them on the channel. And you can see right here where the location is actually built in. It's like a whole trench. That is literally a canyon that goes all the way through there. And the geothermal is like next to the island. Uh, it's like a, a built up island. And you can see the moth coming through as well. So the next place I wanted to check out is this right here. Because this kind of blew my mind as well. And all I believe it is, is just a mining area. And you're going to see why. So if we make our way towards the building... And he uses a lot of pillars and uh, beams. So, for example, if you are wondering or curious on how some of this is done, I'll give a quick explanation on how it is. So we can see a massive, massive drill. And I mean a drill. It's He's turned this area where there's normal iron nodes in the uh, rocky desert and built this whole drill. You can see... The Mark III miners here are sending the items along the belts and making their way up through there. And this is what I mean by certain things are allowed to be clipped in game, you know, when it, within my saves. Because if it looks aesthetically pleasing, it's fine, you know. Like, look at this. This is drills. And yes, this can be done in vanilla. All this can be done in vanilla. It's just the use of beams, pillars, rotations, and all that kind of stuff. And you can see how he's done these. Like, that's insane. How it just looks like a drill. Imagine if we can get, like, that to spin. That would be insane. That would actually be insane. Obviously got a train line here. But I want to kind of head up here. I've got a jetpack on, so let's try and get up to the top here. I don't know if there's a way up or anything. I'm just going to make my way up there. Okay, I managed to get up. And we can just see this is just being, it's just being smelted. So we can see the iron just going into smelters here. And even inside, the intricate details are, are really nice. It just makes it so much better. And Stin should be proud of this. Like, super proud. I hope he is. And I don't think he realizes how much... How, how, how impressive this is. You know? Okay, so I've just come down to the grasslands. And we can see a couple more buildings. We can see whatever that is over there. This kind of like UFO kind of thing with a drone f like dropping on it. And this, it it looks like it's only just ext extracting water. That's it. That's the whole point of that building. And the amount of time that's gone into that building just for that sole purpose of sending that drone there to pick up water to send elsewhere. And then we've got like a, um, a it looks like a nuclear plant, but I don't think it is. When I was doing the intro for the video, I think it said like chain building on it. We'll go over to it in a second. But one building I do want to check out is this one right here because it has like a Tony Stark core to the actual center of the building. Um, let me just zoom out there because that was kind of... But look at this. It's got like a core to it. And the thing is, there's a particle accelerator in the middle of it that lights up and it, it looks nuts. Like, I've just gone into fly mode here, and hopefully we can kind of see it boot up, like, any second now. Um, but we can see... There it is. It's actually booting up now. So you can kind of see it spinning. It looks super cool, and it's very, very, very creative. Um, and I want to know what this whole building is making. Like, I am in fly mode right now, so... Like, these walls... I've never thought about doing this um, with walls, creating a separate space like this and this can easily be done by just placing pillars down and you know uh replacing the pillars with control and stuff 
Um, but like I said, if you want to see all of that stuff and you want to see more into this, please go and download his save. Go over to his channel. Check out his series on this and how he works it all and how he does everything. Um, but like I'm going to keep saying, it's truly mind-blowing. One thing I have noticed is that he is using trains near enough in every single one of his buildings to, you know, send all his items from A to B. So I'm just following this train down here and we've got like a roundabout that comes up and with a signboard just in the middle of it and we can kind of see like chemical packaging titan and then we've got grass fields industrial park <laughs> fcat and fcat here and that's just basically a foundation it looks like with signs with the um the beam attachment on top of a fluid buffer and everything just flows nicely i love how he's integrated the terrain with his builds okay so i'm moving closer to this building and this has me like what is going on it looks like a massive spider on the ground and we can look it looks like some form of coil cables coming up although it's probably pipes but this right here is literally above the void so do not fall down here and even the supports for this are kind of like pistons, which is actually used to hide the pipes and kind of create some form of like network and very, how would you put it, like diesel punk? Or would you put it into space age kind of? Yeah, I wouldn't say diesel punk. I would definitely say more sci-fi space age kind of builds, kind of like what you're seeing like Halo and all that kind of stuff. So this is actually just a hypertube going up here. I thought it was pipes at first, but we do have like a central... Uh, spine going up and then that takes us to this building right here and we can kind of see the drones coming off this um, like i said i have got it at night time this save looks so much better and if you want to see it at daytime please go out and download his save and i didn't even notice this over in the actual um waterfall area over here where the other void is but i've also just tried to see if i can go inside this building it doesn't seem like i can so I'm just looking at these pipes that are coming down here. And I thought there might have been a building because I can kind of see some lights down there. And so I was coming down. And I was like, where is this going? But then obviously I'm going to get hit by the world boundary in a, in a minute and start taking damage because I'm in the void, right? There we go. But there's some lights down there. So I'm just wondering what is that? Because obviously it looks like your lights and you kind of get that through the fog, right? So, but I'm not going to go down there just in case it's some secrets, you know? And I, you never want to reveal a content creator's secrets. Something you never want to do. Because <laughs> we all have them. <laughs> we all have them. <laughs> okay, so up next, we have this chain foundry, which is a solid structure with a nuclear kind of chimney on the side of it where he's made these kind of, like, chain links going down the side of it. Hence the reason the name. And this one does have an entrance, so let's head in here and see what's going on. So we've just got a big, big old room with the signs again. Let me turn my torch off a little bit. We've got internal lights, external lights. We've got the train station right here. We've got steel being made in here. So let me just turn that on real quick. And then all these networking, these foundries, coal, steel, ingots, all that kind of stuff. You know how, how it's done. Let's head over to the train station. Or there is a way up there, but I don't know if that's going to... Actually, let's head up there. Copper Caterium. And then we've got iron concrete downstairs. So let's have a look downstairs. And we can just see some like network going on and machines, lighting. Like everywhere is kind of lit. Uh, and I kind of like that, you know. Everywhere that is a focus point is, is lit. Oh, I want to head up here. Right, so let's head upstairs and let's have a look at this Caterium and see what's going on up here. I love that brown. It's like rust, you know. And there's even a walkway around here just to access. I need a gas mask in. You see this? Can you add a gas mask around there or something? <laughs> I, need, I need a gas mask to get to work in this room. And this is just copper, but uh, Caterium production up here. Uh, sorry, copper production, not Caterium. But beautiful colors, beautiful colors. Okay, so next up is this building right here, which is the chain factory. Uh, and we can see literally a Mr. Bean just kind of chilling here, just doing nothing because he, he has nowhere to go. So it's kind of like a little ornament and mr bean just keeping over you know keeping an eye on the workers here but inside we can kind of see these grabbers uh, and all this kind of stuff kind of very very much like a um kind of like a space station kind of i thought it was a storage plant at first with the grabbers and like a container unit and stuff 
But no, it seems like this is all for circuit boards and reinforced plates. And yeah, and these, these designs are, are mind blowing, you know, just the creativity that's involved in this. So next up, we have the Titan. And the Titan in my book is something different because I call um, my big scale buildings where I'm producing like 40,000, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 40,000 like iron ingots, um, the Titan builds. And this is something different to Stin, uh, which is a chemical plant. So let's head in here and see what's going on. And we can already see on the outside here some more unique design just with the pillars, large pillars, using beams again and just connecting them up via, you know, because pillars attached to the end of beams. And if we head up the stairways, we can see there's a facility sign this way. So let's head down here. I love how he's done this bit. Kind of like I created a gap and then the signs underneath just to create that accent. But welcome to the Titan. Caution, hazardous chemicals. This looks uh, pretty cool. Oh, I kind of like how he's done that as well with the foundation raised here with the um, railings going on the outside. But then creating it looks like it's got a thicker bottom. Thicker bottom. Not like that. But we've got the blenders. Everything's kind of labeled. The consistency, consistency and colors within each building as well is good. But like, I'm, like, I, like I said, I'm not going to lie. I think this is the best save I've ever seen in Satisfactory. The most... Well, the most public save. Obviously, there's a lot of creators out there, uh, but they just, you know, they don't have a a platform to put it on. For example, Twitch or YouTube. So, um, this right here is one of the best I've ever seen. Okay, so I'm just kind of coming in this direction. I can already see a crane, and oh boy, what is this? It's like a mining facility, but kind of like a underground slash cave kind of city. Infinity Works N2 facility. But just look at this. You can kind of hear the pressurizer going off behind me. And the crane in the center and the black and orange. I love using black and orange. Hence the reason we're using it in my current save. I love black and orange. I'm just mind blowing. Some like if I lose if I lose my words, you know, you can understand why. The drone ports on top as well. And then all the tier five belts underneath transporting all the items they need to. And then this right here, you can kind of see the pillars being utilized here in that is circle kind of um structure so let's go into the cave and see what's going on in here so we've got the blenders going on 2a 1b just everything's signed kind of like a central computer right here get all the data of what's going on in this facility and i love it i love these signs just the logos and each building has its own identity so let's make our way up these stairs. I don't know what's up here right now, but we're just going back out into the actual facility itself. This could be like a Call of Duty map. I'm not going to lie. This is <laughs> You could actually utilize this as a Call of Duty map <laughs> or an Apex Legends if you're into them sort of games. Okay, so we're moving into the swamps now and we can kind of see this structure. And I've just looked to my left and there is a looks like what a, a, a hydro dam over there on top. Um... So I'm not going to go and visit that. I want to go and check out this over here and see what's going on. So this is the infinity and we're coming in the south entrance and obviously we can see the north over there. So we're in the swamp. We've got more. This. Uh, I'm going to let you guys describe in the comments what you guys think of this because I honestly don't know. More computers. I keep going up to trying to access them. And then we can go out here and I love like just the views, if you, you can see, of the other projects. Like the pillars and how that light shining down on the logo over there and showing where the entrance is and just ignore the Christmas present, all right? Ruining my immersion. I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> but ever since Satisfactory actually uh, brought in this new flooring and all these new buildable pieces in Update 5, it took the game from mainly being about a factory game to more being about designing kind of stuff. Um... And, yeah, it took it to a whole nother level. Valve control, max oil 450, 30 oil equals 20 plastic slash rubber. We're going to see the speed of the belts and the products being produced. And then just the northbound train, which will probably end up going to the desert. I don't know. Like, I wish I could cover everything in this save. Like, this whole crater uh, building right here and these pillars. But please go and download his save uh, and go and check him out. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. We're going to call this video right here, so... Check out my other content right here. And uh, again, Stint, thanks for letting me check out your save. 
And uh, keep smiling, and I'll see you all in another video. This is nuts. <laughs>